Hey guys, welcome to the Chicala Kitchen. I'm Patty, and we are going to be doing street food a la Napolitana today. We are doing pizza fritta. That's what Fridays are pizza days, and today we're doing pizza fritta, which is fried pizza. This is a very common and traditional street food in the Napoli area, and there are several ways to do it. Um, there are actually two different ways to do it, and I'm gonna try to show you both today. One is to take a small round of pizza dough, fill it, close it over, and fry it. It almost looks like a small calzone, but no ricotta. We have roasted tomatoes here, we have fresh ricotta, and I've got some prosciutto, and that will fill it. The other way to do it is to make a small round pizza crust and just fry the crust, and then take it out, drain it, and just top it with sauce and cheese or whatever toppings you might like on it, and you have a little fried pizza. Um, but that does not go back into the oven. It's almost like putting toppings on a focaccia or something, but it's this crispy fried pizza crust. Both ways are delicious. Both ways are traditional. And we're getting ready to go. I'm gonna go get my pizza dough. I've got my fryer heating up to 350 degrees. You can do this on the stove top. Oil in a pot, same thing. I just happen to have a fryer that I'm gonna be using. So let me go get my dough and we're off to the races. Okay, so I got my pizza dough. Now I divided my dough into three pieces. I'm going to do two stuffed and one round crust. Um, it depends on the size of your pizza dough. And that's the beeper saying that my fryer is ready. <laughs> um, I used my same day pizza dough recipe, which I've done a video on. I'm new to this stuff. I'm going to try to put a link right here in the video. If I can't figure out how to do that, I will put it in the description box down below if you want to use the recipe I'm using. Um, I actually doubled it because I think I'm going to make some calzones tomorrow. I just made some fresh ricotta yesterday. So I've got ricotta in the fridge. My husband might actually want to put some of that ricotta on the fried pizza crust. So we shall see. So here I have a small circle of dough. I roasted some tomatoes, just tomatoes, olive oil, salt, pepper. Uh, I put some thyme and some rosemary on top just to infuse them with flavor and threw a couple of cloves of garlic in there. Traditionally, these are not filled with sauce per se, but tomatoes. So there's my tomatoes. I have some fresh mozzarella here. There we go. And I'm going to throw some prosciutto on top. just because we love prosciutto. You don't have to. Let's see what I got here. Okay, I'm going to pull this over. As I said, it looks like a little calzone. I'm actually, I forgot here. I'm going to, this is just water. I'm just gonna wet the edges a little bit so it seals better. I don't want it opening in the fryer, for sure. Okay, I'm gonna do the other one and the round crust, and then I'll show you when we fry them up. Okay, so the fryer is heated, and I'm gonna put the first one in. I have to do one at a time for size. There we go. It's at 350. We're gonna let this fry up till it's nice and golden brown. This is for the simple crust. I had to make it long as opposed to round just to fit in the fryer, but typically you would make a little round pizza. I'll see you in a few. Oh, here we are, all done. So, here we have the fried pizza crust. And this is what I'm going to do for my husband because he is going to have a field day. Hang on. I have here some marinara sauce, so we're gonna spread a little sauce on here. There we 
go. This is the fresh ricotta I made yesterday. I'm gonna put a little bit of that on there. And I'll see if he wants some prosciutto when he comes down. Does that not look delicious? Okay. Here is our fried filled pizza, pizza fritta. These are the two different ways you can get them in the Naples area. And there we go. Look at that. Beautiful and delicious. We are going to have a great dinner. We're going to sit down, binge watch some good TV, and eat the pizza. Buon cibo, buon amici, good food, good friends. Share with yours. Enjoy, and please come back and join us again. Have a wonderful evening.